Ladies and gentlemen, I have a confession. This may shock some of you, if not all of you, but I recently reacted to the nine speed run and I don't want anyone to freak out. I don't want you to freak out. Please don't freak out. But I actually really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching and I enjoyed participating in Black Ops 4. Now, if you want me to continue this trend, please hit that subscribe button. A lot of you guys are not actually subscribed to the channel. You may not know it. Some of you guys might have been unsubscribed. You don't know it. But, ladies and gentlemen, the ancient evil, one, if not the best maps that Treyarch has ever made. What just, hold on, hold on, rewind it. I'm already lost. What was that step? I already forgot the steps. <laughs> Wait, I actually already, uh, temporal gift. Oh, it, it's, it's angling the sundials. I forgot. Okay, so wraith fires are being used for this strategy. That's the, uh, that's the first thing we can see. Uh, Ancient Evil is, like I was saying, one of the best, if not the best maps that Treyarch has put out recently. I think Ancient Evil is actually, uh, this may surprise some of you given my hatred of BO4. I actually think that this map is way better than D-Machine. I think this map is a way more interesting map. I think it's a way better map. That being said, it's such, it's such a, like, obvious, obvious, obvious. There's more sundial turning right there. Obvious difference in what is actually fun because zombies, the core systems, make up so much of the game. So much of the game that it's really, 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 really important. So they turns on the, oh, oh, this is like the first little trial right here. Oh, yeah, the zombie warlord just randomly pops up. And then you later find out he's like, some famous dude or something or philosophizer or something <laughs> oh that that was wait did he just use his he just used his uh what's it called but then immediately put it away wait what is the point he he he, he you just used a specialist weapon and then immediately put it away i don't know what the reason for that was hello Wait, is he? Wait, he's actually. What am I? What? Is that a strategy? That has to be a strategy, right? That has to be a strategy to get the upgraded pistols and kill more. Like, that's actually got to be part of the strat, right? He didn't actually mean to die there. Or he meant to die there, not that he didn't mean to die there. I'm so I'm so intrigued as to what the speedrun for this map actually will look like. The Oracle. Bro, everybody in this map has some names that are just some BS right there. So activate the trial. Trial, uh, or tribute, rather. They're called tributes in this. Deal melee damage. Wow, that's actually a perfect challenge for what... For what okay, I, I mean, that's the RNG, right? You have to upgrade your your challenge to a certain level in this for it to work um and that's it so yeah like i was saying honestly straight up my i i, I appreciate and like this map more than than uh d machine a but it's just the core the core systems are just so much better that the map itself is just night and day night and day i think he was hoping for a double points to pop up there I think that was his that, that that was his plan. He's doing a lot of melee damage though, which is really really good. Yeah, I think you have to get I'm not sure exactly what it is, but you have to get a certain um, uh, up to a certain upgrade in this map in order to to go on. I'm really interested to see This is a primordial weapon. Oh, oh yeah, you have to kill the I, I forgot his name. The the Xerxes or what 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 are, what are they called? The Zer the Zergies? The Zerpy Zerps? I forgot you need to do that. Alright, so he's gonna start the first trial right here. The Gaia Gauntlets. Gonna get some more melee kills while he can. Trial is out in 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, big boy is here. <laughs> Yo, what is that melee? Oh my gosh! 
He's gonna fully, and then he just moved his. Wait, hold on. Actually, though, how did he just move? I was never one of those horse gals, but <laughs> horse gals. <laughs> wow, that is one way to do your trial. How do you fast me? Okay, so I learned last. I feel like I'm learning something new every time. The way you fast do that with the uh, what's it called? What, what is he using? Anywhere but here? Oh, that's a good anywhere but here. I think it takes him right to where he wants to be because he wants to he wants to claim this trial right here. Oh wait, what? Wait, I'm confused. Did he? Did he mean kill a zombie with hand weapons? What does that even mean? Kill zombie with hand weapons? Hello? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I can't I, I don't even know what's going on man. I swear I, I'm pulling up the Easter egg guide. That's what I'm doing I'm pulling up the Easter egg guide on my other monitor. Here we go. I I, I think it has helped me out in, in, in more ways than one with these reactions kill zombies with a hand weapon Is this a hand weapon? Is this is this what a hand weapon is a pistol? He's not getting any sort of uh, what's it called? Not getting any sort of upgrade. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a that's a hand weapon. That's a hand weapon, bro. I forgot how cool the gauntlets were. Okay, let me focus here. So he's gonna shoot these three things. It's gonna reflect off the the uh, each one of the pre that he already uh, switched all the dials into place. So he has that going on for him already. All right, zombie Easter egg tutorials, and then what is this map called? Ancient Evil. Here it is. Here's the entire Easter egg guide. Well, that's progress. All right. So he, which which one is he on? Exalted hand. So the dormant hand. Oh yeah. Okay. So he, the, there's the. Oh yeah, that's right. You have to. You have to bounce it off and then melee it to like grab it in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Okay, cool. So there's. Uh, he's gonna melee that into number two. And then he needs to go shoot it again and then pick it back up for number three. And he's also trying to end the round right there and get some kills with hand weapons. So that bounces off. And he go ahead, goes ahead and picks this up. Bro, this that's such a cool wonder weapon, man. If only this was on D Machine. If only if only this these wonder weapons were on D Machine. Alright, so he's going into the first uh, the first challenge. <sighs> going to the first one. So what do we have? We have Gaia. Oh yeah, there's there's a lot of these. Oh yeah, all these are really really easy. I remember that much. You get like infinite ammo, and they literally just like teach you how to use the the gauntlet. And it's really really easy to do because you just get unlimited ammo to go off with the gauntlet, whichever gauntlet you want to use. Shoot three mirrors on the map with the bullet based weapon. Angle it correctly. Shoot with the fallen hand of. Uh, Hymera, a light ball should land in the bowl. You pick it up and then you transfer them to the trine. The portal will open, enter it, and then survive the trial, and you will have the upgrade, the redeemed ham of Gaia. That is the, uh, that is the, or the exalted hand, right? That That's the plan here. Oh no, there's more, isn't it? Redeemed hand? There's like three upgrades. I forgot about that. There's three levels there's the fallen hand. You shoot the three. Her hand is yours. Use it wisely. And then, and then no, there's the fall. There's the, there's like the dormant hand, and then there's the yeah. Bro, this map this map was so good. Kill zombies in a, in a location. So he just needs to kill zombies. That's that's pretty that's pretty easy. I don't know which location he got, but it looks like he's headed there. Get at least get all four of the redeemed god hands. So that's that's to get the exalted hand. There's like one more challenge after that. You have to you have to do the all four. So he has. Uh, he's on blue reward. Oh yeah, th there's there's a Pegasus right there. Just ca casually Pegasus. Oh my gosh, that canceling the perk drinking animation was sick as well. All right, so then he lands here. Let's ride. Skips the animation. Lands here and he's gonna do the the car on, the care on hand. This is the shrine of Cat on. After playing after playing uh what's it called? After after playing uh after playing Hades recently, 
Oh, this is so good, man. You, you just like, you you just get to know all these characters. It's so sick. So which one's the Charon? What are the steps to Charon again? Okay, to get a dormant hand, navigate to Python Pass. Place a dormant hand on the Charon Shrine. Is he good? Is he good? Cancels the perk drinking animation again. Oh, we, and then don't, don't you have to get kills in the blood or, or get kills in this area or something like that? Uh, get a dormant hand, activate the shrine. Uh, killing zombies with glow red inside of the red circle trapped within. Once complete, you will receive the fallen hand of Charon, which he has now. Get the fallen hand of Charon and then travel to Pack-a-Punch. Go to the Odin area. Kill zombies behind the fallen hand of Charon in the river right behind, right beside Odin. Drink the water in the river. Run around, collect the uh, coins hidden and deposit into the shrine. Some of the coins are fake coins. There's no way to tell uh, the real ones apart from the fake ones. Oh yeah, then he then he extinguishes all the coins. So you get the kills there, and then you go and you hit every single coin. And then this is a little bit of RNG because some of the coins are fake, and there's no way to no way to tell. Oh yeah, he has to release the things for pack a punch. I wonder if there's a reason that you use Scepter of Raw over everything else. There's the coin. There's the coin. Opens that up. Oh my gosh, big boy. That, that was a cool boss zombie. Very difficult. Very hard to see in this mud that we're watching right now as well, but... So, okay, then this is where you prove yourself to Charon. Get the, getting the upgraded one. This is the one that you use to go to round 100, I believe, right? If this is Charon's tunnel of love ride, I demand a refund. <laughs> Why does everybody always play as Scarlet during these? Everybody is always playing on Scarlet Dirt for the uh, world records. I don't know what that is. But they're always playing as Scarlet. I wonder if there's any like point to killing the zombies faster or you just have to survive like a certain amount of time. I'm not sure what it is. I'm really not sure what it is. So, so what are the actual, what is the challenge? You need to light the eternal blue flame to each player these nine points. So you need a, a legendary epics or six points. So he needs to get up to a legendary reward in this game. You have to get an epic and then a legendary reward in order to uh, to bring in the Oracle's tribute challenges. Or to finish them, rather. And then you... and they, Oh, yeah, and then you use the spear to get the fire, and the fire only shows up after you do a certain number of challenges. I really don't like maps that have challenges, by the way. I don't know if that's just me, but I really... What is that split? Hold on, look. Look, look right here. Bro, look at that split. Where do I put... Oh, can I put my face game? Let's put my face game here. Look at that split. He is minus 3 minutes and 42 seconds. Minus 3 minutes and 42 seconds. On that eternal flame. Oh, wait. No, he's still on it. Oh, he's still working on it. Okay, I was about to say. That split is insane. But he's still minus 58 seconds. All right. So, we got, we got the, the birdie birds. The birdie birds are chilling. And then he's doing the next. Oh my gosh, dude. So he's doing both at once. He's doing the hand. He's doing the hand at the same time as he's doing the pack a bunch challenge. That's 5 million IQ right there. He, he crafted the Pegasus staff or what, what is it called? The Pegasus strike. That's right. Pegasus strike. That's what it's called. Okay. So this one, Uranus. You get the dormant hand and you kill the zombies that glow blue. Easy enough. Um, locate three arrows. Using the fallen hand, knock a zombie, uh, knock a zombie at the arrow, arrow causing a feather to fly up. Shoot the feather where, while in air to direct it to the shrine. Repeat the process three times. Oh yeah, you have to, you have to like blast the zombie at the feather for it to spawn or in a certain direction, and then and then you have to like shoot the feather. Such a weird, weird step, man. These are the steps that I'm really surprised weren't more buggy. There you go. There's the feather. Th this this part was always stressful. <laughs> He's just mailing. <laughs> He's like, come here. All right. Okay, there we go. There's another feather done. There it goes. Feather spawn. He needs to hit it one more time to send it. He sends it. And he now has this bad boy done. 
He's getting the hand of Karon back. So he doesn't actually want that upgraded hand right now. He wants the Karon hand back. Okay. Dude, th I, I feel like the Oracle's been speaking the entire Easter egg because he's going so fast on this thing, man. So now it is he, ha he has the Pegasus Strike. He has the shield, Apollo's will. And then now he needs to, I think the last thing he needs to do is one more hand upgrade. And then, uh, or is that it? Oh, no, that's it. Okay, never mind. I, I was mistaken. All right, so he has the flaming spear now. I thought he needed to get one more, but I guess it's just a rare. Not bad. Not too bad. I thought, I thought, I thought he was going to have to do a bunch. So he's going to have to flame that oil on the rock. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to flame the... So you need to do the three oil spawns, and then you need to go to the Spartan Monument, stand on, uh, stand on a charge shot from the Redeem Hand of Charon, and shoot all four statues with a glowing blue eyes. Go to this char charge shot from the Redeem Hand of Charon. Wait, is that the actual step for the Easter egg? Did he miss that melee? I thought... Uh, I don't know how he, how he missed that. That looked perfect. How could, how could you miss a melee that's, like, right in front of you? <laughs> that's not his fault. It's just, like, why did that not work? Like, why is that not working? Okay, so... Gotta, he's got to shoot all of the statues. Dude, th this Easter egg was so sick, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. You need all four. You need all four of the... Uh... Oh, my gosh. And the gear step. I remember being this was the step we were stuck on for a while right here that this is the step we were stuck on for a hot minute dude yeah this this was a this was a big boy step that that took a while so he's gonna go ahead and pre-do all the stuff he needs to do for Karon. yeah that's right you need all four hands to start each one of the challenges but you really only need he hits that first try of course he does he's the world record holder he hits that like oh dude imagine he literally hit that. Oh, he missed it. Got it. Okay. So there's all of them done. Except for the last one. And there we go. That, that's all of them done. I remember that step taking a while. I remember it taking a while. Oh, yeah. And then you need to shoot these things. Bro, each one of these these hands has so many things. There's so many things in this in this map to remember. He's just gonna spam them down. That works. So the, is that to upgrade? Is that to upgrade the hand of Kara? Uh, gas leak noise. Kill the poisons. I, no, it's not. Mail it, bro. I. Uh, what happened to Ra's staff and Wait, why is he using Blaze Face? Wait, actually though, why is he using Blaze Face? Wait, why? <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna do the Shield Blast. And then he's gonna just melee like a madman. Absolutely hammer this guy. There we go. He gets the piece of the... He gets the, the spear and the little piece out of there. Thinks he's just gonna take the throne of Olympus, doesn't he? <laughs> Bro, this is so fast. This is insane. I can't wait to see the boss fight. I wonder if he uses Blaze Phase in the boss fight. Oh, this part was all it was always annoying. Did he, I think he Wait, why is he getting a secret sauce for his last perk? Wait. Actually though, why is he getting Why is he getting that as his last perk? I mean, I'm sure there's a reason. Why, why wouldn't you just use something? Secret sauce just randomly gives you one. Okay, there's number one done. So he needs to transform another into an electric boy. There it goes. He's got it going again. He needs to do two more, I think. I think this one and then one more after it. Yep, locks that in. Easy peasy. You can't even see what symbols there are. That's okay. What? 
That boy kind of sweating right now. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Did that work? Oh my gosh. Thank goodness that worked, bro. And he got the sh and he got the carpenter for the shield heal. That's huge. That step is always fun, man. A little weird, but always fun. Okay, so he has that done. Bro. <laughs> All right, so what is he on? Uh, let's see. Once they face inward, throw the spear, offering a shoot three sets of roots. He did that, place the spear in the middle of the sundial, wait for an electric zombie, kill it, the slot underneath. Okay, he did that. Okay, he needs to place the little symbol thing in the statue of Ra, place with the redeem ham of, uh, place the redeem hand in the statue too, which causes a beam of light to fire. That's right. So he places it there. Give him his thing. And then you have to like... Oh yeah, you want to like use Pegasus. This part was always frustrating, dude. I remember this being the most frustrating step of the Easter egg. Because the, the shield zombies would always run over and try to block it. They would always, always do it. It was the worst, man. Oh, he's using blaze phase on those guys. He's got a big blight, father boy. just got to keep on protecting that this this step always sucked man oh my gosh this staff strategy is OP I, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not but that that's how you did it in the last one you shot the circus kiss and you reloaded at the same time oh that reload that's scary because if that if they do that for too long you fail Oh my gosh, it, it feels like it's forever, dude. You know he's just sweating, wanting it to be done. There we go. All right. That was the scary part. That was definitely a scary part. There we go. Those were my sisters. Mm, what did he grab there? Was that, was that a... a I think he repaired. Oh yeah, he repaired shield. That's what it was. All right, so he got the the hand. He's gonna do the little spotlight thing. I don't, I don't know what the what the name of this one is in particular. Such a weird step, man. He, dude, he has this down. He has this down, dude. That's insane. <laughs> oh, goodness me, man. Oh, goodness me. So sick. This was a fun step. Dude, this map was just so original, man. Like, who... Whose idea was it to, like, just, like, you have to, like, put on a show for the crowd? And then you have to like show off your skills with this gun. Like whose idea was that's so sick. That's so sick. <laughs> Alright, is he done? There it is. Pretty I mean honestly a pretty easy challenge once you get it. Equipment. Ooh, wait, wait, what does he want equipment for? I guess he wanted a pe you want a Pegasus strike for something. Oh wow! Okay, he's he's not even waiting to see. He's a minute seventeen but, uh, ahead of schedule right now. A minute seventeen ahead of schedule. That's ins that's crazy, dude. <laughs> that's absolutely wild. My man got that down. Wait, why did he just get rid of that gun? I guess. Spitfire is literally the best gun, huh? Spitfire is literally the best gun, huh? Does he... Do you have to watch the mini cutscene in this? I don't remember if you have to or not. There's like the, the partial... There's like the partial cutscene. This giant is what they call a Drakina. Not even a skin monster deserves such overkill. Prove yourself. Okay. He's going in. He's going in. Dude, he's, he's literally... Like five minutes away from beating this thing. 
this will have to do and then i guess while this is going on he's just gonna go ahead and do the upgraded the upgraded air hand thing shoot shoot the six symbols in the correct order to, oh, uh on the door in the river of sorrow uh using a packed weapon have shaw interact with it so i guess if as long as you're not shaw you don't have to place down the pegasus try on the blue symbol pegasus will spawn uh the moving the giant crossbow that appears using the charge shot from the redeem hand of Aranus. Uh, uh, on it until it stops turning. Ignite your shield spear with the cauldron again and run through the venom trap to into the underworld and the fire will turn green. Melee the crossbow ropes to fire the bolt and spawn the boss fight portal. So he literally has to do this and then he has to do, he just has to like move it into place and then he's done. He's basically on to boss fight. He just has to do the melee. Wait, do you have, so you have to get all the redeemed hands. You have to get the exalted hands. I guess the exalted hands are just another level of upgrades if you want them, right? So there's the fallen hand, redeemed hand, and exalted one. Okay. He's got that done. So he's going to go ahead and... Oh, I remember being... We were stuck on this step for a while, too. On how we actually fire the, fire the crossbow bolt. And everyone was trying to fire on it, but no one was... Oh my gosh, that anywhere but here. <gasps> that anywhere but here is insane. That was the best anywhere but here I've ever seen. He literally went to exactly where he needed in the other side of the world. That was the most insane anywhere but here I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Does he go for the car on hand? No, he doesn't. I'm really excited to see this boss fight. How how you do this boss fight as quickly as possible. Stock option. Does he even have? The way to Mount Olympus is open. Hurry. Okay, he skips cutscene, obviously. And now, so he's beating this boss fight in less than five minutes. He just spawns in, immediately starts shooting Pegasus. Can you keep shooting it? I guess you can keep shooting it to an extent. He only uh, did he didn't he only upgrade this gun once or did he? Yeah, he definitely upgraded it. Oh my gosh, that snipe! That snipe! And then the quick melee. <laughs> Yo, I know some of these colors. Dude, this is insane. And then is he standing on the fires in order to charge up his... Uh, I think he's standing on the fires in order to charge up his... Uh, what's it called? Isn't he? Pegasus, no! Remember when the zombie warlord just sucks up Pe Pegasus? I think it's to charge uh, you stand on it to charge up your uh uh your staff i think right it seems like that's what he stood it on there for all right he has staff done he's gonna save that for next phase though oh never mind he might be do, do you guys think he two phases pegasus here oi, oi, oi. 34 hp ain't no problem dude Uh, I feel like this is not the idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's definitely standing on that in order to uh... Oh Pegasus why you gotta fall in such a bad spot my guy That was a really bad spot for him to fall because all the electricity hopefully he still two faces it does he not Oh my gosh, this boss fight is intense man or can you even two phase it? I don't think so, right? I, th I think the the fast he he's literally done the fastest that he can do. Oh no, he oh yeah, he kills Pegasus now. Oh poor Pegasus, man. Zombie warlord. This fool. 
Yeah, but Pegasus has the saddest story out of any zombies character. Forget Richthofen being the nicest one, man. Wow, that glitch? That was definitely not supposed to happen. Woo, those melees! Flying! He was definitely not supposed to take that long, though. He's pissed. He's pit. Wait, or, or, or he's happy. I don't know. I feel like I need to watch another. I mean, this is world record, so he probably. Yo, chill! Oh, he beat it. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was it. Okay, I thought he was pissed. I thought he was pissed because he didn't kill him. This this was a one phase. I oh my gosh, wow. Interesting stuff, man. Very interesting stuff. That's crazy right there. Wow. Okay, well, I felt like I could barely keep up with what he was doing there. I didn't remember hardly anything in the map. All that I know is that this map was th this was one of the good ones, man. Honestly, Zombie Chronicles 2, but with Black Ops 4 maps on Black Ops Cold War? Question mark? I don't know. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, it might be better than Barry Remastered. It's definitely better than Die Rise Remastered. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>